very strange, I think, for an outsider to uh, look at the Roadrunner roster and see that most of our acts are more towards the extreme metal market. An independent like Roadrunner can offer a band uh, a lot of personal care, I think, that a major can't. We specifically cater for bands that the majors turn away from. The last crack, who maybe aren't a mainstream band, but compared to a lot of the acts on our roster, they are. Bands will tell you that they're not interested in making money. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, that, that is what everybody wants to achieve. That's certainly what we want to achieve at, uh, at, at Roadrunner. We'll probably use Roadrunner as a stepping stone. Like at the moment, we're working really well with them. There's no problems at all. And we haven't really consciously thought about majors yet. Having seen what's happened to so many bands on majors and things, I think uh, doing your sort of apprenticeship on an independent is certainly the, the best way to go. It's part of the nature of the music, really. It never has, that type of music's never been accepted, really, ever. We'd never step in and tell a band how to write an album or who should do this or who should do that. If like Roadrunner, they let you do more or less what you want, you know, as much freedom as possible. There's no restrictions at all with an independent label. Uh, Roadrunner as a company can compete with the majors on almost every level. I think it's a little more personal. People actually who work your record might even like your stuff as opposed to a suit and tie guy at a major label who's just doing a business selling a product. We've always gone out and looked for other areas um, and developed interest there, developed other markets, always looking for new forms of music, exciting forms of music to get involved with. We're willing to, to take a risk and, and chance a bit more. A band like Sepultura, for example, um, from Brazil. No one would touch them, even though they had this such strong underground following. Like support, you know, they're on this label, Roadrunner. They worked really hard at it. Took them a few years to do it, but now they're breaking out. It was like going to a big label already. It was not like being like independent too much because we came from Brazil, which is like real difficult to get like a regular label or whatever. And then then things there, it's real more difficult than here. It doesn't matter if the label is like a big label or a small label. If they respect the band, then you can work together. If not, you know, everything goes down. And so the main thing for us is always keep the you know, conversation between label and band, you know, real straight. That's what Roadrunner and other companies like us are there for. We'll pick up on the bands that are too extreme for the majors. And we're the sort of band that doesn't like being told what to do. And that's one of the reasons we are on an independent label. There certainly isn't the pressure that I think there would be on a major. Um, and we've, we've certainly been allowed to do our own thing. We've never been told, you have to do this type of music. And we've always done exactly what we want to. And if the record company didn't like it, well, that's life, you know. Roadrunner should survive because we believe in the music and we believe in our band.